went Sarah and laughed, saying, Shall I really bear a child when I am so whole? Now look at the Lord respond to this. He defended. Is anything too hard or too wonderful for the Lord? Mm. Amen. At the appointed time, when the season for our delivery comes around, I will return to you. And Sarah will, and Sarah shall have born a son. God, God is any basha too hard for me to deal with? She's going, I'm so old, all my flow is done. Abraham is so old, his flow. God, God is any basha too hard for me to deal with? Because what she's saying is, Lord, this is why she chose Agar. She goes, I am barren, I am old, Agar is young. Let's get a child through her. Let's bring in a Syrian. You see, when we run into this problem, and God let the temptation and the trials and the tribulation come to show you your heart. A few weeks ago, I think Pastor Chow was preaching to him, he went to Deuteronomy and he showed God said, I have let these things happen to show you your own heart and mind. I need to show you what's inside of you. This is what the Bible said. What is more traitorous than what? Your heart. It is traitorous. On one hand, you're going, I am for God. But soon as Abasha comes, in whatsoever way, you can't get a child, you, your resources block, your peace, your health, you immediately look for an Assyrian, look for an Egyptian to deliver you. But God said, once you do this, your heart is no longer what? Blameless. What? And though Satan is clever. He's not really he after you, but to get you, he need to remove the big, the big wall force. He got, I need to remove the one who shows himself strong on your beat half. He knows the presence. He knows the presence. He got, once I can get God who shows himself strong on your behalf in every situation, the one who nothing is impossible to deal with, if I can get him out, because God is with you when you are what? With him. When your heart is on God, God is on you. Soon as your heart changes, God withdraws. Now Satan can deal with you. Abraham and Sarah, Basha is old age and they don't have children. They have the, 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 um, the Ishmael, but that's Abraham, Sarah and Abraham doing. Sarah doing. Their plans. Their plans, not God's God plans. plans. Asa and the tribe of Judah and Benjamin, they flow get blocked by Basha. They look to the Assyrian, better that to deal with the matter. Finish this off. Verse 15. Then Sarah denied, saying, I did not laugh, for she was afraid. And he said, No, but you did laugh. <laughs> no, See, I did not. No, don't get it out of this. <laughs> I, 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 I think she said, Oh, funny. No, no, you got, you got, no, 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 you did. No, we, we, we're going to stop. Um, I just want to leave this last scripture in your mind, but we're going to stop. I'll open it down um, and open the process next week. Go quickly to um, Isaiah. Because I, I want to set your mind in a position if I can. Isaiah 40, verse 6 and 7. I was sharing this with my wife this morning. Just before I, I, I read, um, I, I read verse 6 and 7. I want to read verse 1 of chapter 40. So Israel is under a lot of attack. There's a lot of war, very similar like what's happening, what was happening in the time of Asa. And verse 40 opens up. The Lord declared this way. Comfort, comfort my people, say your God. Speak tenderly to the heart of Jerusalem. And cry to her that her time of service and our warfare are ended, that our punishment is acceptable, and our iniquity is pardoned. Amen? Sir, where are you seeing? Uh, Isaiah 40, yeah. verse 1. Oh, sorry. Well, I thought you said 6. 6 and 7, but I want to read 1 first. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Chapter, open up. 
From the Lord hands. Amen. Double for all our sins. For all the heart that she was experiencing tremendous <coughs> trouble. Now verse 6 and 7 read this way. A voice say, cry prophecy. That's prophesy. Amen. And I said, this is Isaiah responding. A voice say, cry prophecy. And I, Isaiah said, what shall I cry? The voice answered, proclaim. All flesh is as frail as grass. And all that make it attractive, all that make your flesh attractive, the voice that I want to prophesy this to them. Let them know all flesh is as frail as grass. And everything that make it attractive is also what? As weak as grass. God said, I want to prophesy this. Amen? As grass. All flesh is, is frail as grass. And all that makes it attractive, it's kindness. It's goodwill, it's mercy from God, it's glory and comeliness. However good or it look, it's transitory. Like the flowers of the field. He said all of it is passing. Mm. Everything that makes you so make you so called good or cute, ego, it's like grass. Grass one minute they're there, then the sun just comes down on them and they get brown. Ego, you are frail. Everything that you think that makes you strong or good, your kindness, your goodness, your mercy, your attractiveness. One morning you, you, you stand in front of the mirror, you go, man, I'm handsome. Next morning you go, what are these wrinkles and spots? You go, it's all uh, passing. Yeah. You see, one of the, 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 the challenge of being a human, we are very frail. I want you to see how God sees you. This is why God says, I hate the proud and I hate those with pride. Either you are so frail and so transitory. Nothing you, you are lasts. That's why you need me. Nothing you so need me because you are so frail. And you have to come up against such basha. So you need me more than anything else. Just like a little baby. When a little baby born into the world, this is why they need parents so bad. They have no immune system. A little coal can what? Everything can kill it. Their water, we have, to, we, have, we have to purify. Their food, everything. Their body has no what? Resistance. Human beings are like that. But human beings believe they're a lot more than what they are. But this is how God, God said, I want you to proclaim this to them. Isaiah, God, what do you want me to prophesy? He said, tell them this. You are frail. And everything that makes you so called glorious is transitory. In essence, you, go, you don't understand that you are not very strong. If I Jesus said in Revelation, you think you are rich, but you are poor and blind and wretched. You are the, among my creation. Yes, you're higher than the trees and the animal. You are weak. He said, prophesize this. Amen. Tell them they are frail, they're like a the grass. Everything that makes them attractive, their so-called kindness, their goodness, their mercy. You understand? Their communist, their however good, it's transitory. It doesn't last. Now Adam understood it. Soon as Adam sinned, I mean he started to feel the dissipation, the fading happening fast. He run to save the program. You ever did something or you ever watch a movie? Something happened and all the files start getting deleted. And you're trying to turn off the computer or something to stop the file, the dissipation. Adam quickly said, he was fading. And he quickly ran to the eternal tree to go, I gotta, I gotta save. But God put up a sword, you, you can't save the transitory. You have now entered a disintegrating cycle. This cycle has to run what? Its course. He got the files that are already deleted. He said, proclaim to them. They are transitory. Everything that they think that is so significant that they put all the effort and energy and time in, it's a waste. You understand know verse 7? The grass wither, the flowers fade when the breath of the Lord blows upon it. Surely all the people are like grass. All the people are withering and what? <coughs> Fading. It is important. You see, Basha knows this. This is why he comes against you. You know you're not strong. You have to know this. But you have to also know who can show themselves what? Strong on your behalf, not sometimes. It's always the same. All the time. But you, the fading one, after your life, he demand one thing. There's one precedent. As Azira told Asa. He's with you as you are with him. 
and your heart must make him, you understand, your first necessity. Mm -hmm. Then your heart is blameless. There are two principles you got to catch. Keep it simple. God is with me when I'm with him. And to keep God with him, with me, or to keep me with God, my heart must make God one first. Mm -hmm. If I can hold on to that, if you say a simple prayer like this, Lord, always be first in my heart and help me to always be with you so you will always be with me. What a prayer. I believe all the Basha will do what they're supposed to do. You can't stop them in you. But the one who shows himself strong on your behalf will be waiting for them what? All. And let go for a long time. Amen? As I enjoy tremendous peace, you will enjoy tremendous peace. Instead, we pray prayer like this, Lord, don't let Obasha come against me. You ever notice he, he, they still come? Because Obasha is not the problem. Mm -hmm. The problem is the one who is supposed to show himself strong, that's what you need. God, the Basha come or not come is insignificant. You say, what, well, Ethiopian or Libyan come against you, that they're neither here or there. I being which you showed myself strong on your behalf, this is everything. But to do this, whether, as I say, your Basha is like Abraham and Sarah, you want a child, you never had one, and you're getting whole and it ain't happening, the Lord showed himself strong on your behalf is your answer. There is a siege on your health. The Lord showing himself strong on your behalf is the answer. You don't have enough resource. The Lord showing himself strong on your behalf is the answer. You don't have enough wisdom. The Lord showing himself strong on your behalf is your answer. You don't have enough peace. The Lord showing himself. Are you, are you, are you, can you see it, church? Do not outsource Assyria. Keep your heart blameless. Let if the Lord come, and let's say, let's assume this debasha breakthrough, you must be able to accuse the Lord. It will, it will never happen to him. You did not show yourself strong, though my heart is faultless before you. I bet it will never happen to him. Debasha will never be able to break through. If your heart is faultless before the Lord, Basha can never what? Get through. Ever. But if your heart is not faultless before the Lord, I promise you, Basha can what? Come through. Amen? It is time we, the church, we grow up and understand the principles. What are the things, we are stopping here today, what are the things necessary for us to be effective? And how does God see us? God said, I want you to proclaim all flesh and everything that makes them glorious or attractive. It's transitory. Something transitory does what? Last. It's what Adam tried to run to fix. It's what Christ brings. He said, I bring you eternal life. I bring you a way to last. Hallelujah. We are going to stop there today. And as usual, we want to thank all those that follow us and watch us on YouTube. We thank God for your life. Those in the body of Christ, I hope this word touched you. And I hope your heart is blameless before the Lord. If not, and I encourage you to say the simple prayer. Lord, help me to have a blameless heart before you all the days of my life and all my children and everyone connected to me and especially the body of Christ in Jesus' name. In fact, you should even maybe want to extend it and I pray for humanity mm. that the heart will turn to the Lord and they will have a blameless heart before the Lord. For those who are not yet in the Lord, it is time to come to the Lord. Basha has been handling you in the various way for a long time. Whether it's your children, your health, your flow, your mind, amen, your spirit, your soul, your resource. It's been laying siege long enough. It is shameful when Basha is able to lay siege and succeed against the church. But you have no help when you're outside of the church, you're outside of the body of Christ. So I want to invite you in. Wheresoever you are, I want God to show himself strong in your behalf, on your family behalf, in all situations, all circumstance, all condition, every moment, that you are able to flow in and out of your life. Your life is designed to flow. From the beginning it ends to flow, it must continue flow, amen, and exit in flow. It's a continuous flow. But to stop all the seeds that Basha can bring, all the rampant can build against it. You're going to need someone who shows himself strong in your behalf. So right now, if you, we want to unite our faith, we here in the body of Christ with you. That if you can just, amen, believe 
and confess these things, it shall be so. The Lord will start to show himself strong in every area, arena, and rectitude in your life. So let's do it right now. All you have to do is believe in your heart and confess that Jesus is the Son of God, the authorized one. He's the Lord, the owner, and the Christ, the Savior of this covenant where God will be with you as you be with him and he will show himself strong on your behalf. And God raised him from the dead. This is very important. As he died, his blood atoned that we can enter a covenant with God. Amen? And as God raised him, that testified that God accept the blood as atonement. And he rise to be the first of the new life. Those who, this life that will always be with God and God will be with them. The resurrection life where the Holy Spirit resided. Amen. This resurrection testified for them. And so you shall rise with it. So as you confess those three things, Jesus is the Son of God. God raised him from the dead. He's the Lord and the Christ. You shall be saved. And the Lord will show you how to keep your heart blameless before him and show himself consistently, strongly on your behalf in the name of Jesus. So I pray this for you and your household continuously in Jesus' name. Your heart shall be blameless before the Lord. This I also utter for the body of Christ in the name of Jesus. May the Lord sanctify us continuously that our heart is blameless before the Lord. That the Lord continuously show himself strong on our behalf. Amen. We will perfect everything pertaining to us in Jesus' name we say. Amen. Amen. Face that you will never be able to deal with without God showing himself strong. And what Satan tries to do to you, serve God, is give you another way. But it's not really another way. The wonderful thing as you learn from Asa, God will, will, will give that which come against you and which unite with it into your hands if you will turn to him. You don't need to join league with, with, with the one that, 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 that joined league with them already to come against you. God see them all like a traitor as you all going against my anointed one. So I will give all of you into your anointed hands. Let's stand. After Pastor Reed, we're at Sin. Your limited strength will start to what? Give way. You might resist him. Something that's fading, that is transitory, it can't maintain. So when I press against Nikki, she might push once and go, okay, I'll hold my hand. Like what I need If I give you just a simple paper and go, hold it here. At first, you look so strong. But because your strength is dissipating, after an hour, your hand are what? Shaking and aching. Because you're not, you're not eat. You have a lasting in strength. You regenerated it. But especially those that are not regenerated. So because of this limitation, you give the weight. So God said, don't you know you're frail and everything that me, you think that makes you attractive, it's, it's weak. That when Basha come against you, you will not be able to win. This is why, this is why that scripture is, is so important. He built a rampart against them. Because he know they can't what? Hold out. Something that transitory... It needs to be fixed or saved very well, quick, because it can't hold it. All bash, I go, I just need to hold out, put something in place, and their, tra their limitation will quickly um, run out. It will quickly exhaust itself. So God said, you need to know this about yourself, how you're built. This is why Christ said, apart from me, you can do nothing. You see, if I don't show myself strong in everything, unless it's solved quickly, you will never be able to withstand it. Your transitoriness will just dissipate. It will just dissipate. Amen? And the forces, the Bible says, you're fighting are not flesh and blood. They're eternal beings. So they'll go, let's just put a certain pressure and just wait for a bit. The only thing they got to hope that they can move your heart, that God will show up. This is, David understood this is why he was consecrated to God, don't delay. He got, lest my spirit become what? Overwhelmed. He knew he can't wait. He know he cannot withstand the siege. The only difference is he looks to nobody. So you got God, ace and hurry. My strength is fading fast. I'm transitory. You have to come now. Okay, so by then you come, I'm what? I'm finished. It's what Mary and Martha said to Jesus. If you only had come, my brother's strength had started to fade, but you needed to come what? Quick. Jesus had a different purpose. But they knew if he come before strength exhausted, he can what? Save. Mm -hmm. You know, most, uh, most accidents or different things or strokes, they always say, if you can get to the hospital by a certain time, they can what? Fix certain. But if once the, the t that time, that transitory has lapsed. Has lapsed, they can't go back. The damage is too severe. Amen. Pastor.
Instagram, please follow us there.